my goodness, how many problems am I solving today? Are you tired of missing deliveries because you're too busy working? Or maybe you've rushed to the door only to find that it's a waste of time. Or maybe you've just had it with wondering, did I lock the door while already in bed? Same here. So I built a system that solves all of that and then some. Like giving temporary access to people. If you're constantly losing your keys, like, like I never do, then you can just lock the house without them. You can talk to the delivery man whilst in a meeting without anyone in the meeting even knowing. And in solving these problems that have plagued me for too long, I've discovered a whole load of other scenarios it's great for too. So let's take the medieval door lock and doorbell and modernize them. I'm going to show you how to combine some great devices with Home Assistant at the center to turn your home into something smarter than the sum of its parts. Here's what I'm using. A standard Samsung TV, a bunch of Sonos speakers, multiple Reolink cameras, the SwitchBot Lock Ultra and the LockPad Vision. The secret of this build is bringing these devices together so they can seamlessly communicate. On their own, they're great devices, but together you get infinite possibilities. So Home Assistant is at the core, but working through the rest, well, I'm using a Samsung TV here for no other reason than I already had one. You can see this has a walnut frame, which was made years ago to make it into a digital photo frame. But you can use any TV or screen because all this is doing is displaying what's on a Raspberry Pi. It's set up to show a selection of photos that I've dropped into a folder on my NAS. Dead simple. The bit I've added recently is a second Raspberry Pi, which displays what's on the Reolink cameras when a person is detected. The reason for doing it this way comes down to speed. It's much quicker to trigger a change of channels from one Raspberry Pi showing photos to another showing the doorbell cam than to display the photos and then wait for the security footage to load on a new web page. This means that when someone presses the doorbell or the camera detects a person approaching, Home Assistant can instantly flick the TV to show the relevant camera view. It doesn't even have to be the same camera. So given my front door is tucked around the corner, I've set it up to show a view from my TrackMix camera, which has a much better view of the driveway. Then, after 15 seconds, it goes back to the picture frame mode. Moving on to these cameras. Well, I've used the Reolink PoE camera. They do a Wi-Fi version as well, but I prefer PoE where I can. This doorbell is packed with all the features you want. Night vision, person detection, super high resolution. But more importantly, it's unpacked with all of the features that you don't want. So no subscription nonsense, fees, or stupidly basic features and buggy cloud dependencies. In fact, I was going to say you can get other cameras for this setup, but no, just get the real link ones. They're the default choice for Home Assistant. I've tried loads and loads before over the years and nothing comes close, so you've been ordered. Seriously, the hardware is brilliant and they just don't seem to suffer the subscription and bug mania that affects all the rest. I've got track mixes, Duo 3s and more and they just work. Then for the lock itself, well, there's one choice in town at the moment, the SwitchBot Ultra. This is a seriously neat device, especially when combined with the keypad vision. This doesn't just have RFID card and pin code entry, but also fingerprint and even 3D facial scanning. So it just recognizes your face and unlocks. It's worth it, even for just that Star Trek feel. I just unlocked my door with a 3D facial scan. 
total aside, but there's a super clever feature built in. Like watch. Take the battery out and it still works. It's got a dilithium crystal inside. Or maybe just a backup battery. Neat. I then also utilise all the various Sonos speakers around the house to alert and play music or sounds as required. In certain spots, I've also connected the lights too, so I can get visual cues. Now, you could naturally add even more devices, but the key is picking brands that work well with Home Assistant. Reolink and Now Switchbot are both works with Home Assistant certified, which means that you can avoid a lot of the bugs and issues that I've had with other devices in the past. But put this all together and it becomes a pretty powerful system that allows you to really start to have some fun. Because you can do pretty much anything. Now I can unlock it with my phone, my keypad code, an NFC card, fingerprint, and even 3D facial recognition. So if you have a cleaner, a tradesperson, or a friend feeding the cat while you're away, just give them a code and then you can delete it when they finished. You can also get alerts when anyone uses it so you know exactly who came and went. And what I am loving is that I don't have any keys or anything in my pocket anymore. Now my keys are my fingers and my face, which are always with me. So gone are the days where I would run around the house in a mad panic searching for my house keys five minutes before school starts, which is honestly bliss. If you've never used it, Home Assistant is an open source smart home hub that lets all of your devices talk to each other and respond exactly how you want. Think, if X happens, then do Y. Let's go back to those real world problems. Doorbell rings whilst I'm in the workshop. Well, my doorbell can now ring anywhere in the house. So I've got it also ringing in the workshop. Plus you can play any sound you want, not just a doorbell. Alert, a biological entity is attempting social interaction. So I've got a collection of suitable song clips that it plays and I'll avoid a thousand copyright strikes by not playing them. But pen masters out there, let me know in the comments what others I've missed. Not only that, but if I'm really busy working and I can't hear the sounds, then I can just flash lights instead. And this would also be great for the hard of hearing. Now I've also used Reolink's person detection. So when it detects a person, it flicks the photo frame to a camera view to show me who's there. It also plays a little sound to alert someone is coming even before they reach the door. And this allows me to decide if I'm in or I'm out. It's naturally super easy to send alerts by email or other formats too. Oh, and as the Home Assistant integration exposes things like auto responses, I can completely automate or set off with a trigger, a standard response to visitors. If you are here to sell something, I recommend fleeing now. So if you're stuck in a meeting or aren't around for a delivery, you can just autoplay a message to the postman. And not just them, with all the cool controls of the devices, if you had a lock on your porch, you could give them a temporary access key. Or if not, then you can just direct where you want the parcel left. Parcels to the right of the house And you remind me of the post What post? The post with the path My children are even excited about this setup. They're looking forward to playing Christmas music when the door unlocks and setting a spooky Halloween mood when people approach the door. The sky's the limit. So smart devices are cool on their own, but when they work together, your home actually starts thinking for you. It's not just about having the right equipment, it's also about the quality of the connection between them. And that's why I always check if a device works with Home Assistant. If you want to build something like this, well, check the description below because I've linked to everything I mentioned. 
Reolink has a massive range of solid, privacy-friendly cameras. SwitchBot's Lock Ultra is a great way to ditch your keys, but I really like it when combined with the keypad vision so I don't even need my phone. And Home Assistant is the magic glue that makes it all work. And have you got any punny doorbell ideas or a killer smart home automation setup? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to pinch, I mean feature, your ideas in the next one. Smart homes aren't about the future. It's about getting back time, security and peace of mind. And that starts when everything works together. Hoyle Vowery.